North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ratcheting up his threats against the U.S. His army announcing today it has final approval to launch merciless military strikes on the United States, including the possible use of, quote, cutting-edge nuclear weapons. This word coming just hours after the Pentagon unveiled plans to deploy anti-missile defenses on the Pacific island of Guam. Despite its string of successful missile tests, Pentagon analysts do not believe North Korea has the technology to launch a nuclear attack on the U.S. But Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel says the U.S. cannot afford to take chances. We take those threats seriously. We have to. This is the latest counter move. Truck mounted interceptor missiles are being moved to Guam. They will supplement larger defense missiles based in Alaska and Hawaii. Both systems are designed to hone in on warheads in the upper atmosphere. According to the Army's former chief intelligence officer in South Korea, there is not much of a chance we will have to use the missile defense. It's completely rhetoric right now based on what we can see into North Korea, and we have incredible technical capabilities to read what the North is doing. What we don't do a very good job is we've never penetrated their inner workings of governance. Meanwhile, the Pentagon has also sent stealth fighters, bombers, and two Navy destroyers to the Korean Peninsula, each of the warships equipped with anti-missile weapons.